What's up everyone, Vincenzo here. Today I will be reviewing the Octopus UK 205 and by the end of this video you will know if this is a good entry level ukulele to buy. One of the questions that I get asked the most is which ukulele shall I buy? If you see my DMs on Instagram, it is full of those conversations. This question comes from all kinds of players, beginners, intermediate, advanced. Nowadays, there are so many ukuleles easily available to us, which is great, but at the same time, it makes it hard to make a decision. And so, if you're looking for an entry-level ukulele, which is exactly what you need when you're getting started and you don't want to spend too much, this is really the review you need to watch. First thing first, the price. This ukulele costs 28 pounds, which is about 34 euro. And by the way, this is a totally unbiased review. Yes, I got this ukulele for free, but I'm not paid, I'm not sponsored by Octopus, and I don't even have an affiliate link. Let's get back to this. So, in my opinion, there are two things that are really important when buying an entry-level ukulele. Number one, reliability, and number two, value for money. Having said that, let's get this review started. The ukulele comes with a soft bag. Nothing fancy, but this is a nice and decent bag, which is gonna be useful if you plan to take your ukulele around with you. Also remember, ukuleles within this price range don't always include a soft bag, so this is a plus for me. But in my opinion, the real big plus is this one. I'm not sure you can read from here, it says, Aquila strings, or shall I say Aquila, but it is an Italian brand and it is pronounced Aquila, which means eagle, by the way. So I don't really recall a ukulele in this price range to have high quality strings. In fact, one of the things that I always say to my students when they buy an entry level ukulele is to change the strings. But with this, we covered. Also, bear in mind that sometimes you buy more expensive ukuleles, but you still have to change the strings. So for me to have Aquila strings on a ukulele that costs less than 34 euro is a big plus. There's nothing else in the box, which is fine. Sometimes you can find picks, straps, or some other basic accessories, but most of the time they tend to be low quality items. So I'm not really bothered by the fact that they didn't include anything else. Now, looking at the ukulele, it has been finished to a very good standard, especially considering the price range. It has a walnut fretboard and neck, it has geared machine head tuners, and a classical guitar style bridge. So, having said that, let's play it, let's see how it sounds and if it stays in tune. So I like the way it sounds. The fretboard is comfortable and there is enough space to me to put the fingers on the fretboard even when I'm playing D major like this using the index, the middle finger and the ring finger. This is not always the case when I play soprano ukuleles. In fact, most of the time I will be playing D major like this. By the way, if you want any help on your first ukulele chords, make sure to check out this video. Going back to the ukulele, I like the way it sounds, and as you can hear it, it has a really nice sound. And by the way, I'm recording this with an iPhone and I will not alter the sound when editing the video. So what you hear is what you get. Let's see how it sounds when I play finger style. Again, really nice sound. By the way, if you would like to learn more about finger style, make sure to check out my video where I teach you all the fundamentals of this really cool technique. Let's try it when playing single line melodies. If you follow my channel, you know that I like to play melodies and riffs on the ukulele. So I'm gonna be playing Losing My Religion and let's see how it goes. One, two.
Good, good. I really like the sound and it's really comfortable to play over here on the 12th fret. Most of the time with entry-level ukuleles, it's not really that comfortable to play past the 5th fret, but this is definitely not the case here. As a beginner, you might not think that this matters for you, but let me tell you, it does, especially in the long run when you're gonna be starting playing more and more. And so definitely this is one of the aspects to consider. Let's try something else. This was the famous guitar riff from With or Without You by U2. Again, I like how this ukulele performs. One of the things that I want to double check is if it stays in tune when I move down the fretboard. Okay, it does. Of course, the more I move down, the less precise it is, but this is normal, especially with ukuleles within this price range. The verdict. So, is this an entry-level ukulele that I recommend? Yes, it is. If you remember before, I did say that the two most important things when buying an entry-level ukulele are reliability and value for money. And the Octopus UK 205 performs very well in these two areas. You get a really great value for money. In fact, if I didn't know the price, I would have said that this was about 50 euro. It sounds nice, it's versatile, it stays in tune. And let's not forget about the Aquila strings. If you had to buy them yourself, they would cost you six, seven euro plus the hassle of changing them. Octopus goal is to make reliable instruments for people that are starting out, including kids. They say that their instruments are affordable, but still good quality ones, and I agree with them. One of the things that I would have liked to test, but that I couldn't, was to see if these ukuleles would last long in a classroom with 25, 30 teenagers. You might know that I used to be a secondary school teacher in the UK and I wish I had known about Octopus back then because I would have definitely given them a go. That's all for now. If you like this review, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. I publish a new ukulele tutorial every Thursday. If you have any questions about the Octopus UK 205, just leave them in the comments. If you want to know more on how to get started when learning the ukulele, make sure to check out the links in the description. Having said that, thank you very much for watching and I'll see you soon. Ciao!